Hello everyone, I'm going to show you how to do a chi-square test of homogeneity. Here's the example. Do male and female college students have the same distribution of living conditions? Suppose that 250 randomly selected male college students and 300 randomly selected female college students were asked about their living conditions. Dorm, apartment, living with parents, or other. And the results are shown in the table below. So the question is, are the male and the females, are, do they have a similar or the same distribution of living conditions? You want to pay attention to those terms. Do they have the same distribution? So when you see that term, that tells you that we're going to perform a chi-square test of homogeneity. So the first thing I want to do is go in and in my matrix, go over to edit number one, and we need to put the data in. This is a two by four. So we're going to put our data in 72, 84, 49, 45, 91, 86, 88, and 35. All right, so these are our observed, our observed counts. When we go over to stat test, I'm going to calculate we do a chi-square test, just like we did in the previous in the chi-square test for independence, we put our observed in the matrix A and the calculator will do all the work and will do the expected ones for us. And so then if we calculate, we can get our results. So now we just need to write it all up. So our null hypothesis is males and females have the same distribution distribution of living conditions. And the alternate is that males and females do not have the same distribution of living conditions. Right, so then from there we need to test our assumptions. Our assumptions are we are given an SRS of students and all expected counts are greater than or equal to 5. And let's take a look at these counts. Now let's go ahead and write them down before I get somewhere else. So chi-square was 10.12, the p-value is 0 0.017, and the degrees of freedom was 3. So let's go ahead and look at our expected count. Second matrix, number two. And there they are. So we had a matrix that's going to look like this. So 74.1, 88.1, 86.1, 77 .3, 92.7, 62.2, 74.7, and 36.4, 43.6. Alright, so sure enough, they're all greater than 5, so that verifies. And we are performing a chi-square test for homogeneity. And we need to say that we got all these results from calculator. Okay, and then the last thing we have to do is draw occlusion. 
So we would say since the p value is less than 5%, we reject the null. There is sufficient evidence to conclude that males and females do not have the same distribution of living conditions. And that is it. That is how you do a chi-square test of homogeneity. It's very, very similar to the test for independence. The calculator work is all the same. The main difference is the alternates, the null and the alternate hypothesis, and of course your conclusion and your phrasing and basically deciding what the test is telling you. So hopefully that helps clear some things up and I will see you in class.